now we will write down question 6 kilometers per hour 6 kilometers per hour 20 minutes late 6 kilometers per hour 20 minutes late 9 kilometers per hour 10 minutes early 9 kilometers per hour 10 minutes early 10 minutes early what is that we will do we will find out there is one thing we will find out the actual speed we will find out the actual distance why only distance we will calculate the other two we will find out the actual distance and we will also find out the actual time actual speed actual distance and actual time these three we will find it out generally in our textbooks only distance is calculated now see here so we did percentage method we will use ratios here we already discussed how ratio can be converted how a ratios is used now see here sir listen carefully how am i solving 6 km per hour 20 minutes late 9 km per hour 10 minutes early solution listen carefully sir step 1 6 km per hour 20 i will write down the question again 20 minutes late 9 km per hour 10 minutes early 10 minutes early step number 1 first to go with the speed what is the speed ratio 6 and 9 speed ratio is 2 is to 3 3 2 is 6 3 3 is 9 3 2 is 6 3 3 is 9 speed is inversely proportional to time speed is inversely proportional to time speed is inversely proportional to time speed ratio is 2 is to 3 time period ratio will become 3 is to 2 time period ratio will become 3 is to 2 speed and time are inversely proportional speed ratio 2 is to 3 time period ratio 3 is to 2 difference is 1 difference is 1 but according to the question these 20 minutes late t plus 20 10 minutes early it is t minus 10 difference is 30 i hope it is clear speed ratio is 2 is to 3 time period ratio is 3 is to 2 difference one but it is 30 so it is into 30 it is into 30 90 minutes it is also into 30 60 minutes t plus 20 is 90 t is 70 minutes t minus 10 is 60 t is 70 minutes actual time to go from source to destination it is 70 minutes are you all with me again i am repeating it speed ratio is 2 is to 3 time period ratio is 3 is to 2 difference it is 1 but according to the question difference is 30 1 is becoming 30 it is into 30 3 into 30 2 into 30 t plus 20 is giving you 90 minutes t will give you 70 minutes t minus 10 is giving you 60 minutes t will give you 70 minutes idea clear actual time is 70 minutes everything else you can find it out sir suppose i want distance distance is 6 km per hour that means in 1 hour 60 minutes he will travel how much 6 km with this speed how much time he is traveling 90 minutes 6 tens are 60 9 tens are 90 distance is 9 kilometers finish 1 hour 9 kilometers 1 hour it is 60 minutes 60 minutes 9 kilometers so 9 we got so actual distance is 9 kilometers what is the actual speed distance by time 9 by 70 by 60 it is in kilometers per hours it is 9 by 
70 by 60. Is the idea clear? Either you can find out by using percentage increase or you can go by the inverse what we discussed in the length into breadth equivalent to area. Second time I am repeating. Speed ratio is 2 is to 3. Speed ratio is 2 is to 3. Time ratio is the 3 is to 2. If the time ratio is the 3 is to 2, difference is 1. Bis minute age, das minute piche. Difference is the this. 1 is becoming 30. It is into 30. 3 into 30 is 90 minutes. T plus 20, it is 90 minutes. T will become 70 minutes. Actual time, I hope the idea it is clear. Only some local teachers, teachers who do not have a great understanding of this topic, they will only calculate actual distance. You can calculate actual speed and actual time because of this inverse proportion. T plus 20, it is 90. T is 70 minutes. Or T minus 10 is 60. Both will give you the same value. Actual time is 70 minutes. When I say 6 km per hour, 6 km per hour means 1 hour 6 km. 1 hour 60 minutes. 60 minutes 6 km. And 90 minutes how much it is? 9 km. 90 minutes how much it is? 9 km. Distance it is 9 km. Time it is 70 minutes. Speed will become distance by time. So 9 by 70 by 60. 9 by 70 by 60. I hope the idea it is clear. Let us do two more problems so that this concept will be very very clear to you. Question. 15 kilometers per hour. 15 kilometers per hour. For example. 25 minutes late. 25 kilometers per hour. 25 kilometers per hour. 15 minutes yearly. 15 minutes yearly. I need to calculate actual distance. I need to calculate actual speed. I need to calculate actual time period. Actual distance, actual speed and actual time period. Those students who understood the concept, you can go ahead and solve it. Those who want a second problem recap, they can listen to it. 15 and 25, speed ratio. 5 threes are 15, 5 fives are 25. Speed ratio is 3 is to 5. Time period ratio is 5 and 3. Difference it is 2. But according to the question, 25 minute age, 15 minute piche. 25 forward, 15 backward. It is 40. 2 is becoming 40. So it is into 20. 5 into 20 is 100 minutes. Late means T plus 25, it is 100 minutes. Early is T minus 50 equivalent to 60. T minus 15, 60. T plus 20, 500. In both the cases, you will get the actual time. Ti time will become 75 minutes. Here also it is 75 minutes. Actual time period will be 75 minutes. Actual time period will be 75 minutes. You can take any of the speed, you will get distance. Let me take this one. 25 km per hour. That means in 1 hour 25 km. In 1 hour 25 km. 1 hour is 60 minutes. 60 minutes it is 25 km. 60 minutes it is 25 km. But according to the question, with this speed, with this speed, how much it is traveling? 60 minutes. So distance also I got it as 25 kilometers. Speed is distance by time. 25 by 75 by 60. Convert the minutes into hours. Convert the minutes into hours. Is the idea clear? One is a ratio method. Another is a percentage change method. You practice it and whatever you find it comfortable, that method try to use it. Now, if you see here, both the cases time period should be same. So, T plus 25, it is 100. T is 75. T minus 15, it is 60. Time period it is 75. Third, one more question. Write down, sir. Questions, questions, problems, problems in our class. 30 kilometers per hour. 40 minutes late. 
फोर्टी मिनट्स लेट फोर्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर फोर्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर टेन मिनट्स लेट टेन मिनट्स लेट ई वॉन्ट एक्चुअल डिस्टेंस ई वॉन्ट एक्चुअल स्पीड एंड ई वॉन्ट एक्चुअल टाइम पीरियड and i want actual time period try to solve this the idea remains the same that is the beauty of thematic based learning thematic based learning once you understand the idea it will be very easy sir 30 km per hour 40 minutes late speed ratio 10 3s are 30 10 4s are 40 speed ratio 3 is to 4 speed ratio 3 is to 4 time ratio 4 is to 3 time ratio 4 is to 3 change is 1 but according to the question 40 minutes late t plus 40 10 minutes late 10 plus 10 so difference is 30 so it is into 30 4 into 30 is 120 minutes 3 into 30 is 90 minutes these 120 minutes 120 minutes is t plus 40 t will become 80 minutes t plus 10 is 90 minutes time will become 80 minutes actual time will be 80 minutes actual time will be 80 minutes are you all with me you can take anything speed to get the distance 30 km per hour 1 hour 60 minutes 60 minutes it is the 30 km but with this speed he is traveling 120 minutes so this will be 60 kilometers this will be 60 kilometers distance is 60 kilometers speed is distance by time 60 by 80 by 60 kilometer per hour i hope the idea it is clear i hope it is crystal clear to you how can you find out actual distance actual speed and actual time very easy with a little practice you can solve it now when i was taking this problem somewhere some years before in iit delhi one student asked me a doubt sir what if these speed values are not given what if you do not have the exact values of the speed then how will you solve it please write down that's a very very good question that he has asked Download our revolutionary app for free AMC.